All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name's Chuck, it's Crusoe, and I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm out here in the city of Las Vegas on the west side of the 15. And we're gonna look at this uh, gorgeous property. Larger lots here, no HOAs. Now some of them with the cul-de-sacs like this will have probably like HOAs like this one right here. We do have an HOA and the HOA here is fairly small. So it's not big now because they're also going to be putting up a gate here too as well. That's if, you know, the community or the neighborhood wants to get together. This neighborhood consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight homes. And these are just true custom homes. Now this one has been completely rehabbed. This home was actually built in 1993. And... The owners that came in here, they completely gutted this thing and did a phenomenal job of the rehab. Can't wait to show you this property because the attention and the detail is just, you know, next level. Um, this video may be a little bit long. However, there's just so much to look at, right? So first of all, the exterior has been painted. You have the original roof tile. And that looks like the uh, concrete roof tile. And I love these uh, keypad here. These manual push-ins. Like, now this right here is just roughly probably about $2,000, believe it or not. We have a one, two, three car garage. Landscaping is fully mature. Did an excellent job. You got some nice real grass. The uh, concrete, this pathway that leads into the house, it's been uh, sealed and stained, which is really nice. Really matches the landscaping. The landscaping that you see here, this is all rock. These are real rock here. Had to haul this in. Here's the uh, property line. I mean, look at that house, how gorgeous it is. So you have the main street right here. Now, if you go left, you start heading north, you're going to run into a lot of shopping, or if you went right, um, you're very close to everything. Uh, Strip-wise, you're probably like less than probably 10 minutes. Love this uh, retaining wall right here. They literally redid everything. Now this home is also equipped with the uh, smart home technology as well. Uh, this landscape is just completely new. So as you can see the uh, pillars here, looks like they added uh, some cladding. You got some black slate here. The entryway, this is the original. However, they painted this, which makes sense. Added this brand new door. This is a pretty large door here. This is like a nine foot door, French door. Now, just take a look at this. This is definitely breathtaking. I don't even know like where to start. Because there's just so much to look at. Now, I'm gonna point out a lot of things here. So the first thing I've noticed as I'm coming in, we have porcelain tile. These are 24 by 48. Here's your main living. So it steps down two steps. Now I like what they did here with the steps. The steps could have been a foot shorter, but they already knew that this was a, a 12 by 24. So they just made the step longer so that it can fit the whole plank of this tile, which is awesome. So right above me, these are actually beams, or functional beams. A lot of times you'll see these are faux beams with this. This one is supporting the roof. 
You also got some skylight up there too as well. Love how we got the fireplace and again we have the nice stone, black slate stone. TV mount there. Here's for your fireplace. This is a wall feature, which is a waterfall wall feature. Just attention to detail, if we look at the six inch baseboard, as you can see, we have a nice rip across. And the walls here did a really good job because it's really straight. You have a nice light orange peel texture bull nose on the cornering so you know let's start over here I think this is definitely where I would put my craps table look how large this picture frame window you got another fireplace here so it looks like this would be your formal dining definitely added these uh, sconce and lights here it looks like we have some LED lights for the... I think these are Traverse LED lights. No, they're just uh, LED lights. And I love how they left some of the charm. So these are like the original window, but these glass brought my blocks. They left that in there. I think this is like perfect. You can really see the charm. And the creativity of this home is unbelievable. I mean, just even these glass, they could have took these out, but you know what, they left it here. What I like about this is that there's so much skylight that's just coming in, natural lighting for a home this size. So we have a basement as well. We'll be heading down this way, or we can hit the basement this way. However, we're gonna just start off on this side. We're gonna save the best for last. Here's your half bath. or quarter bath. Love this glass vessel sink. Clad it all the way to the top. You have the sluters on the windows, just attention to detail. You have the uh, solid doors, eight foot doors. Custom doors, or your hardware, or a black hardware. S Sorry, I'm trying to look at the, the time here. Sometimes the GoPro will cut off. So what you see here, these are actually bamboo flooring with a nice dark stain. We got two bedrooms on the north wing of the house. So this bedroom right here is a bedroom in front of the house. You got the coax cable and you have your own bathroom. Here we have a nice 12 by 24 on the tile, porcelain tile. We have marble countertops, undermounted sink. You have the nice modern faucet, the picture frame window. Then now we're coming in a three quarter bath. As you can see, we have the shower. I mean, just this glass slide alone. This is just nice. Beautiful tile work. I love how they added that bench seat. Got your closet, okay. Now this home is equipped with the uh, smart home technology. This is a smart home. Home does come equipped with the essential uh, vac. Now this bedroom is located in the back. Now if you guys want more information, I'm, about this home and square footage, which is, I think I forgot to mention, 
which is a 6,436 square feet, five bedrooms, a den, total seven baths. I like how this is just not your standard shaker cabinets, but these are full overlay. So it really gives that custom look. Again, you got your frame mirror again. You have a four inch casing around the doors. I love how they did the casings. So this bathroom pretty much mirrors the other bathroom, but just a little bit smaller. Walk-in closet, not bad. Get the thermostat here, you got the skylight. As you can see, as you walk next to the thermostat, it kicks on. This is your just additional laundry room here. It's a gas, so this is great for the north wing of the house. Now we're gonna head down to the basement because the basement is completely remodeled here. I mean, this whole house is remodeled. As we come into the basement, just nice and large, great for entertainment. You do have a bar as well here. You have access to the outside of the property, to the backyard. Three-quarter shower. I have to just turn this off as I'm down here. What you see right here, this is the uh, part of the uh, spiral staircase. You do have the beams here, but these are actually, it looks like the uh, faux beams. You have the French doors that take you out to the back with a cover patio here. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna take you guys out. Brand new doors. You got the beautiful stained concrete again. I mean, just the attention to detail. You got the stairs that take you up to the main backyard there. Property does have a pool. Got a little bar section here. Love the uh, color of the cabinet. It's not really a brown kind of guy, but this is more of a natural, like a smoke gray tone to it. Now what's unique about this granite here, it's got these little, like almost like a snake skin type of pattern, which is really gorgeous. Refrigerator. Here is your air conditioning unit. You definitely put it. This is definitely a game room. I was gonna say, you know, put a pool table and all that stuff here. This should be your hot water, okay. And here's your pump. I would probably later on run this directly into the gray line, that pump there, just in case it's ever floods. But that's the reason why they did tile here, which is smart, versus doing the bamboo flooring, because if it ever does flood here, you have the tile, which was a very smart thing to do. Now let's come up the spiral staircase here. We've got bamboo flooring. Take this all the way around. Now we're back to the main living. Let's go take a look at this kitchen. Looks like off to my left here we have a pantry. Now I wanna come back to the spiral staircase here. 
Because as you can see, it literally goes all the way around, which is gorgeous. Now let's take a look at this kitchen together. So this kitchen, as you can see, we have the white shaker cabinets, three pendant lighting. You have this beautiful white marble waterfall. Now these are not cabinets that open, right? It's just skinned with the front cabinets. So you have this nice long peninsula as well. Stainless steel package appliances. Obviously, these are going to be soft closing cabinets, dovetails. It's a given. You got the 42 upper backsplash. I'm sorry, 42 upper cabinets. But also, they did finish off the cabinets, right? So this would be an extra cost. And they also added a light rail underneath. Brand new dishwasher, dual basin sink with the front apron here. You got your push garbage disposal. You got your dispenser for your soap products. Now let's take a look at the center island. Center island is equipped with your sink to wash your vegetables, but we have a two-tone here, kind of that natural smoke gray you have the z-line convection and we have a waterfall with a inch and a half front face and then we have our grill this is a seven burner and we have our nice hood here On this reverse tray, I think I would have wanted it more square and I'd probably add some LED lights. Now the kitchen here, you got your built-in refrigerator. Inside we have our waterfall, full backsplash, some LED lights underneath the cabinets. And I also like how they did the 42 with the 18 and finished it off with the crown to the ceiling and added some lights inside that frosted glass, which is gorgeous. We have two double ovens, well, just a double oven. I mean, look, look at the attention to detail here. They literally finished off this cabinet. Here's our main laundry room. So the laundry room does step down. You have the sink, washer and dryer. Now if you got like doggies, this is where you're gonna wash your doggy. Now this is gonna tear down and it steps down. Now, as you can see, the flooring here, this is a high quality epoxy floor. I'm gonna say this is that commercial grade where they use in airport hangers. And it makes so much sense to have these frosted garage doors because it brings in a lot of light. The sun actually sets on this side so I can see how that makes sense. So this garage door is a custom garage door. It's right here instead of down the center. Again, we have that nice window. Now here's the GE, this is the main panel box. The reason why is because this is a 6,000 square foot home. And this is basically the main breaker box for everything. And this right here is like top notch next level, which is kind of ridiculous. It's commercial grade, but it is a 7,000 square feet home. You have a brand new central vac. You do have your water heater here. We're gonna come up another stairs. This takes us outside. 
Make sure the door was locked. Wow, this door wasn't even locked. But we're gonna just lock it for them. Okay. We're gonna head back inside. We're gonna come through this garage door. Now, believe it or not, homes, the way that they are built, this is the main firewall here. So this door here, all this should be fire resistant. So that way, if there's a fire here, it should not get into the house. We got a Goodman air conditioning unit. I mean, look at the ceilings. I love how they just kept this little design with the ceiling there. I think I would have color blocked that. That would have looked cool as hell if you color blocked this. Interesting. Now back here, it's just the pool. Should we go to the back now? We're not gonna go to the back just yet. We're gonna go back through the house. Let's do that together. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. And um, I definitely wanna earn your business when it comes to purchasing a home, okay? I guess this is where you would put your kitchen nook here, breakfast area. Now let's go out to the back. But before I go out to the back, let me grab my cheat sheet. Now the, uh, the backyard or the lot size is 20,000 square feet, about 21,000 square feet. It's nice that they got this glass door here. They were really good. It almost seems like they bought this property because they were going to move into it, but then they're like, oh, I'm gonna sell it. Now this is the original tile here. Now this is more of like a clay tile and with these clay tiles, are, they're actually pink, which looks ugly. And I think they did a good job by just painting it gray. I love how this is elevated like this. It's kind of cool. Looks like you have a closet there or something. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing a home, I definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. There's no charge whatsoever. If you guys ever contact my office and um, speak to an agent, make sure to ask for me directly. Uh, just keep in mind, every uh, real estate agent is an independent contractor. So what that means is I do work for myself. If you uh, speak to somebody with Simply Vegas, make sure to ask for me. It's very important that you do that because a lot of people think that we, all agents with Simply Vegas, we all work with the same company and that you may be asked, or you may be asking, hey, do you work with Chuckets? Which a lot of buyers out there don't understand that we're independent contractors. So agents, we all work together, but our pay is all separate and it's based upon whoever you buy a home with. And hopefully you guys buy a home through me. So I'm saying just make sure to ask. So we got a new Pentair system. Look at this. And the uh, Pantera system is connected through your app. Three AC units. These are 14 sear. I'm sure they're 410. Cool jacuzzi. It's Pebble Tech. Looks like they resurfaced all this. Now let's uh, head upstairs. The landscaping here is like gorgeous. Let's take a look at this grill. Nice. Let's go take a look at the uh, primary. Let's see what the primary is all about. Now when I look at homes like this, 
always look at attention to detail. Now, there's, there's something that really had piqued my interest on this home, and I wanted to, to show you this. It, it's very small, however, I want to show it to you. But I don't know, did we look at the bar yet, guys? I don't think so. Just come back over here if we haven't had a chance to look at the, this second bar. I mean, just take a look at this amazing view. This home is just, just great for entertainment. Like if you want to show off the home, this would definitely be it. But this is an amazing spiral staircase. With great attention to detail. All right, let's make our way upstairs. So up here, we have our primary. Then we have two bedrooms down here. We're gonna start off with this bedroom. Each bedroom will have its own bath. This is a larger bedroom than the others. You have 12 foot ceilings, it looks like. Coming into the bath, we have 12 by 24 tile. And I love how they cladded the whole wall here. It gives you that spa-like. And they kept that glass block, which is really cool. Here's your walk-in closet. If you guys want more information, go ahead and click on the link in the uh, description below. Same thing here. House definitely needs some blinds for sure. Got the uh, same look as the other bathroom. Now, this is where I say my favorite part about this house as far as attention to detail. Take a look at this transition right here. You have the tile, they added a schluter here, and they did this carpet, which is, I think this is like the coolest thing. This is like my favorite thing right now um, out of this whole house, all right? Same thing here, look at this. You have the bamboo flooring. Look at this. They did the black schluter here. That transition, boom right into the carpet. And what was great about this carpet is, as you can see, this carpet pad right here is a little bit thicker, about two inches right here. What they did was cut off the pad underneath and it just transitions right into it very smoothly. Like, believe it or not, that's like my favorite part of the house. Coming through the uh, French doors into this large primary, fireplace, what, number four or something? You have a retreat area. Again, we have this nice picture and window. Looking into the back of somebody else's house. Your TV's gonna go there. The good news is if you smoke cigarettes, this is where you just come out and smoke. So, I mean, there's really nothing really to see, but if you just want to come out here and hang out, it's not a big deal. I probably eventually would have done, um, probably just build all this out, just to have that extra space at this point. Now, we can go into the bathroom two ways, and I think this is a pretty cool concept. We have the custom walk-in closet here with this large mirror. Definitely a lot of closet space. Or 
we're going to walk down this alley here with extra storage. Or we can come here. Now take a look how gorgeous this is. Love this standing free tub. They kept the window. The shower, look at the rainfall. That changes all different colors too as well, which is really nice. Let's take a look at this walk-in shower. I love this uh, natural stone for the floor pan. So this right here is enough to take a shower for two. I mean, you got a handle here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Nine, ten. Now, another favorite thing about this bathroom that I like here <clears throat> is this marble vessel sink. Very natural in the stone. And we have the skylight here. Then our water closet. Now that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, video home tour. Now if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Now, this home has like so much more that I did not mention. But again, if you go ahead and click on the link in the description, get you all the information that you need, or if you guys wanna set up an appointment for a private home tour, give us a call. I'm Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas. Wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.